Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 558. Glory and praise to our God. <clears throat> Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him who built the valleys and plains, praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In his wisdom he strengthens us, the gold is tested in fire. Though the power of sin prevails, our God is there to save. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause. We ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus. You came to reconcile us one to another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, protect, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has foundation and nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with yours our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses did exactly as the Lord had commanded him. On the first day of the first month of the second year, the dwelling was erected. It was Moses who erected the dwelling. He placed its pedestals, set up its boards, put in its bars, and set up its columns. He spread the tent over the dwelling and put the covering on top of the tent as the Lord had commanded him. He took the commandments and put them in the ark. He placed poles alongside the ark and set the proprietary upon it. He brought the ark into the dwelling and hung the curtain veil, thus screening off the Ark of the Commandments as the Lord had commanded him. Then the cloud covered the meeting tent, and the glory of the Lord filled the dwelling. Moses could not enter the meeting tent because the cloud settled down upon it, and the glory of the Lord filled the dwelling. Whenever the cloud rose from the dwelling, the children of Israel would set out on their journey. But if the cloud did not lift, they would not go forward. Only when it lifted did they go forward. In the daytime, the cloud of the Lord was seen over the dwelling, whereas at night, fire was seen in the cloud by the whole house of Israel in all the stages of their journey. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. How, How lovely, lovely is your dwelling, your dwelling place, place, O Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Bless the men whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. How, How lovely, lovely is your dwelling place, place, O Lord, Lord mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely How is your dwelling, dwelling place, place, O Lord, Lord mighty, mighty God. God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the word of your Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace 
where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus, when Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the problems we have with this reading some scripture is that we always are jumping from place to place. Yesterday, the first reading from the book of Exodus, we're in chapter 34. Today, we're in chapter 40. There's a big gap in between where God has given all sorts of instructions to Moses about how to build the tabernacle, how to build the Ark of the Covenant, and on and on and on it goes. Of course, the church has to do that, just give us snippets here and there. Uh, otherwise, we'd spend a whole couple years just on the book of Exodus. But I suggest that if you have time, some of you might be retired or some of you watching on TV, uh, to maybe get your Bibles out during the daytime and read and fill in the gaps. And then you get the whole story and a lot of it will make a lot more sense. And today's uh, first reading, Moses is putting the Ten Commandments into the Ark of the Covenant. And um, he has built a, the temple there or uh, uh, the tabernacle and uh, God's will becomes present upon him uh, when God comes to visit him and so on. Uh, the response to the of Psalm today was something like, um, how uh, lovely is dwelling place, the Lord of hosts. And um, we are so fortunate, um, we can come here day after day Moses would go into the tabernacle or the tent when God would appear to him, but the people were kept at a distance. Uh, whereas we can come to church here every day to God's dwelling place. And we do have such a beautiful dwelling place here. But most importantly, and much more important than just having the beautiful building over us, is that Jesus himself is present under the form of bread and wine. And you and I can do what Moses never could do, or any of the Old Testament people, and a few men should come up and receive the Son of God himself under the form of bread and wine. Uh, Moses and his people couldn't even think of such a, an intimate relationship possible. Uh, and Moses always approached the Lord with kind of fear and trembling, where we can approach God as Abba Father in heaven. We are so blessed. And it's just so important for us to think about that from time to time think how privileged we are. As we heard a couple of weeks ago, Jesus saying that even many a prophet and great king in the past couldn't imagine doing what you and I can do. And yet sometimes we can take it for granted. So stop always and think about what it is that you're doing when you come here, how privileged we are, and how blessed we are to be able to come forward and receive our Lord in the Eucharist. And he comes to us to strengthen us in that way so that one day we can share in his divine nature and his kingdom in heaven. So always as we think about these things, uh, we should realize how blessed we are and then our only response can be one of grateful thanksgiving. And then we ask the Lord to help us then and go out and live as people truly holy, uh, holy and worthy of the calling to which we have been called. So with that in mind today, we receive Jesus in the Eucharist, strengthened by his presence. We ask him to help us to go out, reflect his love, his mercy, his kindness, and forgiveness to others by what we say and do. With that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to realize how truly blessed we are to be our adopted sons and daughters through holy baptism, nourished with the blood of Christ and his body in the Eucharist, and then to go out and proclaim his love to others by what we say and do. Help us to carry out the command with joy and happiness. And grant us the favors we now ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and Archbishop George Lucas, for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ, present in the Eucharist, strengthened by his presence, Reflect his love to others, we pray to the Lord. Amen. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all parishioners, that by working together to build a parish center, we may draw closer together as a parish family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may know the joys of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. For young men and women, that they may discern God calling them to a life of service in the church as priests or religious, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving to God for the rain we have received and for continued favorable weather throughout the summer months, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from the Lord through serious sin, that they may return to him seeking his pardon and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause, pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass today for Fed Vitek. We pray for him and for his family. We pray to the Lord. Lord. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the potential working, powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with every blessing and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. 
And so in the presence of countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we do confess your name and exultation, giving voice to every creature under the heavens as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you have great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through this obedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who might seek you might find you. Time and time again you offered him covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you still love the world, Father, most holy, that in the fullness of time, your Son, your only beloved Son, to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life and that we may live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for you. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, the first fruits of those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. And therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved those who were in his own in the world, he loved them to the end. While they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and granting your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and this one chalice, that gathered into the one body by the Holy Spirit, 
they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all those whom we, whom we offer to your sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those here present, and all your people who seek to serve you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and the saints in your kingdom. There, with the holy creation, free from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you are already there, and I myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 439, You Are Near. O oh Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the foe, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Lord, you have searched my heart, and you know when I sit and when I stand. Your hand is upon me, protecting me from death, keeping me from harm. O oh Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Where can I run from your love? If I climb to the heavens, you are there. If I fly to the sunrise or sail beyond the sea, still I'd find you there. O oh Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with all love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Let us pray the prayer for our success of our parish center. Loving Father, Father we come to you in adoration. adoration. May, May our hearts be open to your guidance, guidance on this journey. 
you have, have bestowed on our church community, community the gift of openly worship and praise your name. We, we humbly give thanks, give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faithful prayer center for all generations. Most sacred heart of Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Saint Isidore, Isidore, pray pray for us. us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 406. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.